At VMware, in the Software Defined Edge division, we're thinking differently about the edge. With VMware Edge Compute Stack, we're providing a simplified, optimized runtime and orchestration platform for frictionless management of edge applications and infrastructure across scaled sites with limited resources. VMware Edge Compute Stack is available through VMware Edge Cloud Orchestrator. This platform provides centralized monitoring, visibility, and cloud control to enable zero touch deployment across distributed locations while delivering automatic business policy and firmware updates, link performance, and capacity measurements. Everything you will need for your edge locations. Let's get started with an end-to-end -end deployment of an edge site. Every aspect of that site will be stored in code. So the first thing we'll do is set up a Git repository. In this case, we're going to use github.com and an example repository has already been set up for you to reference. Let's set up a brand new repository. We'll call this repository Palo Alto. We'll give it a description. And we'll make this a private repository so only we can access it. We'll initialize it with a readme file and as simple as that, we've created a repository. Let's copy the location of this repository and paste it back into the VMware Edge Cloud Orchestrator. Once we've registered our Git repository, we'll be ready to deploy our first host. So let's download the media to deploy that host. In this case, we are going to boot from a ISO file in the out of bands management system of a Supermicro. You can see we've attached the media. We're going to boot from that virtual CD-ROM and our automated zero touch deployment will take over. It will deploy everything you need to run your workloads at your edge location. Once it's completed, it will reach out to the VMware Edge Cloud Orchestrator service and register itself. It will register itself with the vendor, the model and the serial number. We can now set up our first site. So let's set up the Palo Alto site. We'll give it a location of this site. And then we'll associate it with the Git repository we just created. In order to do this, we'll need to create an access token. So let's head back over to github.com and create that access token. We can do that through the developer settings and we can set up a fine grain token to give only the access we need. In this case, we're gonna set up a 90 day token and we're going to only select the repository that we've just set up. And what's more, we're only going to give it read-only access to the contents of that repository. We'll generate the token, and we'll take a copy of that token and put it back into VMware Edge Cloud Orchestrator. We can also add optional labels here for every host in the site to receive. Now our site is set up, we can see it's received those labels and we are ready to add our host. So let's add the host that's been deployed. We can choose from the list of all servers from the VMware compatibility guide. In this case, we're going to put the super micro information in that we received from our automated deployment. We're going to choose the site that we've already set up and add it to the Palo Alto site. And we're going to use the same Git repository that we set up for that site. We can also add labels here to identify this specific host later on through our configuration specifications. Once we've done that, we can see our host is now registered within the service and is waiting for the deployed host to contact it. We can see that that host has now contacted the service and it's made that connection. We can now activate this host and send it its information, telling it where to retrieve its desired state from that Git repository. We can easily monitor every aspect of the registration and what the host is doing through the events tab. We can see that the host has been registered, it's received as Git repository and it's already starting to sync. Any alerts during this process would be available in the alerts tab. So now let's go into our Git repository and start to give it some desired state. Let's enter editor mode and start to create the files. The first file we'll create is for the hypervisor configuration. We'll give it some NTP servers to get the correct time. And in this case, we're going to edit the welcome message to take out the login information, as this will be in a secure location and we don't want to let people know how to log into this box. We'll also create a read-only account for monitoring 
and we'll delete a couple of the entries that we don't need on this server. Secondly, we will set up a computer vision based application. This is a standard Kubernetes app that we'll use to monitor a manufacturing line to give us some information on quality assurance. We can see that this will end up on a node port on port 3000. So let's commit these into our Git repository. As soon as we do that, our server will poll for its information and we'll understand that that is out there and start to stand up these applications. We can go into our events and we can see that the server has already found this information. It's pulled it down and it started to stand up these applications. So let's take that worker node IP that we got, add the port on, and we can see our computer vision application has been stood up and is monitoring our manufacturing lines for quality assurance. We can also see our host console has had the login information removed, making it secure at that edge location. So let's add an additional app into our Git repository and show you what an update looks like. In this case, we're going to define a Windows virtual machine. We can see the configuration specification shows the OVA that's going to be deployed and gives some post configuration where we change the firewall, we set up a new account and we write a file to the file system. This could obviously be any customization that you require post the application being deployed. Once we commit it to the Git repository, the server will again realize that a change has been made. We can monitor this through the events. And in this case, I've purposely got something wrong. If we go to the alerts, we can see exactly where we went wrong and we can use this information to rectify the desired state configuration. In this case, the class name was wrong, so we're going to rectify that issue. We're going to make another update to that Git repository, and we're going to pull that virtual machine down again. Now that's been done, we can see the events have updated, and our virtual machine has been deployed. We can RDP to it, and we can indeed see that customized account and the customized text document on the file system. This completes the rollout of our Edge location. In this case, we did a single host, but with VMware Edge Cloud Orchestrator, we can easily roll out thousands of hosts to hundreds of locations. Join us now at ecs.orchestrator.vmware.com and simplify your Edge deployments.